And just in time for Memorial Day weekend, travelers coming to Texas from certain places will not have to self-quarantine after they get here. KVU's Bryce Newberry shows us what's changing at Austin's airport. Since late March, travelers arriving in Texas from five different states and four cities were required to self quarantine for 14 days to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. But under a new executive order from Governor Greg Abbott, these restrictions are immediately lifted. Flyers from Washington, California, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, as well as Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, and Miami will no longer have to tell DPS troopers where they will self-quarantine. The news comes just before Memorial Day weekend, as thousands of flyers are expected at Austin's airport, the most since the pandemic began. I felt pretty okay just getting on the plane, just as normal. Like everybody was trying to social distance as usual, and everybody was wearing their masks. I didn't feel great doing it, but... I mean, I'll have fun. The flights were cheap and we haven't seen our family in a long time. It's ultimately your responsibility, but yeah, the flight incentives, just it being cheaper is really nice. And as people start getting more comfortable flying, Southwest Airlines committing to better safety measures like this electrostatic disinfectant spray. United Airlines also using the spray and partnering with Clorox to improve how the airline cleans plane and airport surfaces. The Austin airport also working to keep things clean as the pandemic continues. We are working to welcome them back to ensure that they do have a, a safe and healthy travel experience um, when they're flying through Austin. Last year, 43 million Americans traveled for Memorial Day, which is the second highest on record since 2000. That's according to AAA. But this year, because of the coronavirus pandemic, AAA is not releasing a Memorial Day travel forecast and is projecting it to be a record low. Reporting from Austin's airport tonight, I'm Bryce Newberry, KVU News.